I'm Sean Tracy. I played senior hurling for Galway for many years. Won two All-Stars in 89 and 91. Loved the game. When I finished playing, I went into coaching and I've been coaching teams ever since. I love coaching. I love hurling and all sports, but hurling is my first love. I was very healthy. I had no health issues. And suddenly I contracted the flu virus and my health and my lifestyle changed from that day on. I'd been feeling unwell for a number of days. I was being urged by my wife to go to the doctor, but of course I was putting it off to the last minute. So I drove in myself into the doctor's surgery. At this stage, I was feeling fairly poorly now and uh, it was getting very hard to breathe. The doctor informed me that Sean was very, very sick, that he wouldn't let him move from the surgery and that he would like him to go to A&E in Ballinasloe as soon as possible. They put oxygen on me and I was really, really upset and just didn't know what was happening. So they transferred me up to the coronary care unit and Geraldine came up with me and I was settled down there for the evening. She asked what would she do and I said, look, go away, come back tomorrow. But the next part of the story is a lot what it was retold to me that in the course of the night, all hell broke loose and my, all my organs failed. That was my heart, liver, lungs and kidneys. The consultant doctor in Anislaw he decided the best course of action was to transfer me to Galway. I was transferred to Galway and it was taken into the intensive care unit. I was told to prepare for the worst. On the journey from Ballinasloe to Galway, they had nearly lost it and they said the next 24 to 48 hours would determine how everything would go. But they had also told us that they would like to put Sean in an induced coma because that would help with the organ failure that he's had to give his body a chance to recover. All my organs had failed. I was on dialysis for the kidneys. My heart was down to 21% function. When I woke up and I looked down at my chest and my legs and it was full of wires, pads, drips, you name it. And I just turned over to Geraldine and I said, what's after happening? And she said to me, Sean, you've been very, very ill. My dad and my mum was there. And I looked up and I seen a rugby match on telly and it was Ireland against England in the Six Nations. And uh, I said to my father, uh, How, how's that game on? And he says, do you know what day it is? Now I'd gone in on a Thursday and I, I thought it was Friday, the next day. And uh, he said, no, it's Sunday, it's Sunday week. Now I didn't know it was the flu virus I was after contracting at that stage. A flu is a very, very serious thing to get. And I got it full belt, which meant I was laid out Every day I was being taken down for dialysis because my kidneys were obviously in failure. My heart was still very, very weak. And I was in isolation for maybe nine or 10 days. Eventually, after 22 days, they said, Sean, you, you'll recover as good at home as you would here in the hospital. I was on dialysis for approximately 10 weeks. I never realized that the flu could knock you for this. I was able to go back to work after eight months since I went back to work, uh, I've been on continuous medications. I've had to uh, attend for checkups on my heart and on my kidneys. I developed an irregular heartbeat because of the flu virus. And to regulate that, I've had a number of cardioversions. I've had three in total. These are things that I would never have had to get if, the, if I hadn't had the, the flu virus. I thought I was invincible. I thought I was one of these guys. I didn't need to take any vaccines. I thought the flu was for people that were really very old or very young. I was 47 years of age. I was training every day. Since then, all our family take the flu vaccine. And I would urge everybody to take the flu vaccine because it would prevent what happened to me. It could prevent a person dying or getting all the ailments I got after it. As a healthcare worker working in an institution looking after sick and vulnerable people, I think it's our duty to have the flu vaccine. Number one, to protect ourselves, but also to reduce the transmission of flu between patients and indeed within the community in general. The flu is a highly infectious virus that can be extremely severe and affect your lungs and upper airways. 
The flu can cause serious complications, such as pneumonia and multi-organ failure, especially in those aged 65 years and older, children under four years of age, and those patients with long-term medical conditions and pregnant women. The flu is responsible for between 200 and 500 deaths each year in Ireland. An individual is infectious from one to two days before and up to five days after their symptoms develop. Last year's influenza season was a prolonged season. The number of confirmed hospitalised cases due to influenza, ICU admissions, influenza-related deaths and influenza outbreaks exceeded reports previously in Ireland. They even exceeded reports during the 2009 pandemic. The impact on patients over the age of 65 was significant, with in excess of 2,200 patients hospitalised due to influenza, and of that, 85 patients required an ICU admission. While you may think there are many side effects to the flu vaccine, reactions are generally mild and serious side effects are very rare. The most common side effects are mild and may include soreness, redness or swelling around your injection site. Headache, fever, aches and tiredness may occur, but these side effects do not mean that you are getting the flu. The vaccine does not contain any live viruses. It cannot give you the flu. Vaccines are a safe and effective way to protect against serious illness, and vaccination remains the best protection against influenza. Healthcare workers can be up to 10 times more likely to get the flu than the general population. Healthy people can have the flu without any obvious symptoms. However, they can transmit the virus and pass it on, causing illness. You need to get the vaccine every season as the virus changes every year. You can get the vaccine from your GP, local pharmacy, or in the workplace through your peer vaccination clinic or local occupational health department. It takes about five minutes of your time. Protect yourself, protect your patients, protect your families. Get the flu vaccine. Your best shot. <laughs>